20 countries are facing a vast majority of problems in terms of poverty, unemployment and development issues. And so we feel the service sectors that are conducive to growth as well as trade in these countries are sectors such as ICT, education, transport and financial services that does not just provide the base for economic development but also provide a way for these countries to slot into global value chains. Recent technological changes and the digital economical developments have allowed for least developed countries to enter into value chains much, far, much faster and their smaller firms are able to move along the value chain much better. So the concept of leapfrogging is, is crucial to these countries as their smaller firms can advance much faster from small um, input type firms into more advanced manufacturing and service firms. In terms of international trade, LDC countries can link their, their small firms into global value chains and that would mean that the, the small firms does not just enter into um, production facilities but they also get enhancing technological skills and learn from these larger firms and therefore the smaller firms are able to leapfrog much faster through the value chain. Developed countries have to find a balance between regulating um, and protecting their domestic industries but also allowing for growth especially in the small and medium sectors and especially in services we find that, that issues such as movement of people, uh, visa applications and things like that are limiting the amount of service firms that are able to move freely globally. So international trade is a platform for smaller firms to move into the, the global environment, but these regulations have to be supportive and the least developed countries have to develop um, regulations accordingly. LDC countries and LIC countries can use various strategies to help these small and micro firms in the services sector to, to grow. And these strategies can involve anything in terms of public-private um, partnerships, clustering small firms together to learn from each other, um, and also partnering with, with government in terms of procurement procedures. Multilateral and regional trade agreements are very important for LDC countries to help them to liberalise their services sectors and we see that there are very little policy focus at a regional and a, even a domestic level on service sector specifically and especially SME firms in the services sector. There's much scope to expand and allow for uh, different policies to address different size firms, firms in different locations and firms in different production uh, levels as well.